kicker Mason Crosby set to do the honors here. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible Ready. form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. Lance going to put it up right away. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep. Samuel, 75 yards. And the 49ers need just two plays on their opening drive to take the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score seven nothing. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 21. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Oh, look at the juke. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. And that going to be incomplete. Boy, nearly intercepted right away. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. To throw once more on second and ten. Rodgers, he has it complete to Christian Watson. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Rodgers finding Watson for the Packer first. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. down carry by Jones and some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38 another nice gain 13 yards that time and another first down the gun it's Rodgers 
Throw right side. This is into the hands of the tight end, Tunyon. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Now it's Rodgers. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Now Jones. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. That whole thing was thrown off track thanks to the defense of Fred Warner. Really nice play. Second down and goal. Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. So third and goal, and the 49er faithful making some noise for their defense. Hey, 626. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. But Nick Bosa is so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. And that's the kind of stand all defenses are seeking. Third and goal, backs against the wall, and they get a monster sack, and now they're going to force them into a field goal. For them, that's a win. The kick by Crosby is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Fields it right around the goal line. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Now this throw caught left side. Room here to run. He's at the 30. 10. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle, 84 yards. And the Niners are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Gold to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Nixon now from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Yeah, 
The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They trail now 14-3, an 11-point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. Rodgers throw, finds its target, Dobbs. Second down and four. Rodgers now to throw. Out of the backfield, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Rodgers going to throw. Open man left side. It's the tight end, Tunyon. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw is Rodgers. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. That's a big force in completion there to bring up third and long, and this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And they're going to drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the 11. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Now Mason Crosby for the Packers field goal try. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Crosby is good, and a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to now. So the three points there, and CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because, remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Lance's throw pulled in by Kittle. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, 49ers! Christian McCaffrey, 68 yards. And the Niners go up by two touchdowns. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great work, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word, if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. Touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Nixon now from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Man! 
The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And a first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on this deficit before half. And this drive is going to go a long way towards telling us whether they actually have a chance to come all the way back in this game or not. On second down, it's Jones. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Rodgers to throw on third and one. This one swung out here to Jones. Finding space at the 40. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. A little surprise pays off on third and one. Pass instead of run. Gets him 15 yards. On first down, Rodgers. That one caught downfield by Watson. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Rodgers now on first down. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. to throw on second and 10. Rodgers, and this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. Rodgers dancing to his left and he'll be hit as he releases it and that'll fall incomplete. Well he certainly did a nice job improvising there extending the play hoping someone would come open downfield but they never did. Rodgers to throw for it on four. Got a man, it's Tunyon. Four seconds left and there's the timeout. In field goal range and a chance to tack on three before intermission. The kick by Crosby is good and that will do it for this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, 
They're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try to cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. The throw over the middle, taken in. The 30, 10, touchdown, Packers. Alan Lazard, 73 yards. And the Packers come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And this is back to a five-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Now that should give him a spark. He's across the 40 to the 43. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get into that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. The San Francisco <laughs> offense ready to start their next drive. On play action, Lance. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Lance, under pressure, they got him again. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. So when you have good field position to start a drive and you give up back-to-back -back sacks, that can be demoralizing for a team. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got a man complete. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. They came out with an aggressive mindset to start the third quarter, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them take more of these type of deep shots as this game moves along. They connected there. They expect to connect on more before this one's over. On first down, and it's a fumble. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Sliding out of the pocket. Oh, Lance has it knocked free. The ball is loose. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone to the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on him. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. Throwing his lance on third down. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And all oh, the gamble fails. It's incomplete. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown. And their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Rodgers looking to throw on third and two. Buying time to his left. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger.
On first and ten, here's Rodgers. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I really like the angles that the tackles came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline. He knows something. He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport sting. The Packers on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and five. To throw, it's Rodgers. He sets up the screen to Jones. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On the counter, here's Jones. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Throwing on second and 14. Rodgers. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The hard-hitting safety, Jimmy Ward, picking up the sack that time. He had some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. Then marched to the end zone the last time out. From midfield, here's Rodgers. Looking deep downfield and unable to connect, incomplete. I'll give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing, but credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And this one's high, but not very far. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Off of play action, here's Lance. That ball caught, Brandon Ayuk. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a good way to start the drive, 17 yards and a first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Lance to throw it. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver, and it's third and five. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Okay, they come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. To throw, it's Lance. The tight end, Kittle, has it on the left side. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. Lance finding Kittle. First down, San Francisco. Let's go. Strike. Strike. 
This is McCaffrey on the give. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did, and remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep, and he's going to be met at about the 43. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Lance back to throw. Forced out to his left. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And the Packers are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Oh, my, how the tables have turned now. They were trying to salt this one away, but that interception, potentially a game changer. Hey, I just got to think to myself, at this point of the game, I know you've been aggressive. I know that's your M.O., and that's fine. And all those teams that talk about all gas, no breaks, you better have the emergency lever to pull occasionally. They could have used it right there. They put themselves in a tough spot with that interception. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scam the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. And meanwhile, Rodgers' throw here pulled in by Lazard. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Well, they have had no answer for this connection all night long. They just have to think in a two-minute situation, that's got to be a concentration lap. You know they're going to go back to him with the game that he's been having. Rodgers to throw. And that is incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. In motion right comes Cobb. Back to throw, Rodgers. Drops it to Jones in the flat. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. To throw is Rodgers. And he'll let this go deep for Lazard. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, second through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. He finds Watson complete. And he'll stop it with a spike here with seven seconds left on the clock. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. One final try for Rodgers. We've seen this before. And this is going to be caught. It's caught. 
And they've won the football game. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just